The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I was watching FS1. I was watching The Herd. It's a show that I watch every day. Shout out to Colin Coward. Man, it is PN lose a talent in him. He is really flexing and, and he's showing his, his, his talents at FS1 right now. Salute to him. He made a comparison and generally I, I like Colin's comparisons, but this one I didn't like any much that much. I, I'll just make an adjustment to it. Pretty much he was comparing LeBron James. He's at the point of his career of, of what Mike had to go through, Michael Jordan, when he played with Washington and what Jay-Z is currently in mogul mode. And I thought the premise of what he was trying to say was correct. I just don't think it's time to compare LeBron to Jay-Z. Now, I do believe LeBron, maybe at the age of 37, 38, is going to be more of a Jay-Z type. But listen, Jay-Z is LeBron's idol. He's gotten a lot of business game. For those who don't understand this, Jay-Z has taught not only LeBron a lot of game about business and being your own boss, but he's also taken Rich and Maverick, two of LeBron's closest friends under his wing as well, give them game. And now they've become agents and business owners and just great young black entrepreneurs. So it's not just LeBron, it's LeBron and his whole whole team, which further empowers LeBron to be the biggest boss that he can be and be, be his own CEO and not have to sign with brands, but get partnerships with brands. That's what LeBron's whole legacy has been about. That's why you see him creating media corporations, media organizations, so many things that LeBron has hand in. I want to compare LeBron to somebody else today, though. I don't think it's a Jay-Z comparison yet because what Jay's been able to do is just, it is off the wall phenomenal. I want to compare what LeBron is doing right now in his point, at this point in the career to Drizzy Drake. I want to compare LeBron to Drizzy Drake. We're going to do some here. And you rock with me, guys. My subscribers, shout out to all 74,000 of you. I think LeBron and Drake are at pretty much the same point in their career. LeBron has three championships. To me, Drake has won about three or four championships. In rap, I believe that means being the best rapper to me for a three or four year stint. I think right now this is the first year for me, I would say Kendrick's a better rapper. To me, Kendrick's a better rapper than Drake this year. Maybe you want to argue last year. But to me, 2017 was the first year when I listened to Views and I listened to, um, well, More Life, excuse me, and I listened to um, Kendrick's Damn, and I just listened to Damn, and I was like, damn, no pun intended, this is way better than Drake's More Life. And Drake can call it a playlist, but he's getting the accolades as if it was an album, so we're going to call it an album. Damn is better than More Life, period. I, I bump Damn more than I bump More Life. And... More Life is going to put up better statistics from uh, individual singles. He's going to have more hits that touch radio than, than on Kendrick's Damn. But that doesn't mean it's a better body of work. LeBron's going to have better individual stats, as you see in the finals. He averaged a triple-double against the Golden State Warriors. But that didn't mean it made more sense. Golden State had a better team. So Kevin Durant was a part of a better team than what LeBron had. So yes, LeBron, LeBron LeBron's numbers, they trumped. He had a triple-double in five games in the finals. But just like Drake, those numbers don't equal up to an entire better product. When you talk about Drake, what has stopped Drake in the eyes of many? Those darn Meek Mill ghostwriting allegations. Before that, Drake was on records and spitting his stuff. He was saying he was the best to ever do it. Um, he, he was pretty much in every record you get a reference to why Drake felt as if he was number one in the game. Well, after that, pretty much Drake doesn't really call himself number one anymore. After Meek said he had ghostwriters, you don't hear Drake saying he's number one anymore. To be honest with you, in the last couple years, Drake has kind of went in this more singy rap lane when you hear hotline blings you hear records like that controllers they don't really just talk that hip-hop talk anymore lebron is considered to be the best player in, in the nba but kevin durant there are times in that series where lebron just couldn't hold kevin durant anymore kevin durant and meek mill have altered 
the legacies of Drake and LeBron James. So I don't think this, this is the day that we compare LeBron to Jay-Z. I think this is the day that we compare LeBron to Drake. Both around 30. Drake's just at 30. LeBron's about 32, 33. Still a lot more to go. But maybe the days of just calling them the best are in the past. Even though I believe the majority would say they're the best. Those days probably are in the past. Winning championships are probably in the past. Kendrick looks like he's got a, he's about to go on a, a three, four year um, wave of being the top guy. The Golden State Warriors look like they're going to go on a three or four year stint of winning championships. Probably 75% of the next four championships. They'll win three out of four. And now it's time for LeBron and Drake to transition and find other ways. If it's Drake, it's creating a new artist or if it's LeBron it's helping create a new brand or creating some sort of a new shoe or creating some sort of um and with his his partner's agency finding young talent like a Ben Simmons you see Drake signing Baca it's these guys are going to have to find different ways to now become moguls I don't think LeBron's in the mogul he's a mogul don't get me wrong but not in the whole type mogul which is what Colin compared him to LeBron's chasing Michael Drake's chasing Jay, but I think we're at that point where we all realize I don't think Drake's going to ever be better than Jay after the ghostwriting allegations and after Kendrick's damn was that much more better than more life. We realize Drake just can't make, he just ain't, he just unwilling to make that music right now and talk that talk. LeBron, I believe Look, he just lost in the finals to Golden State this year. His Cleveland Cavaliers, the Eastern Conference did nothing but get worse. So the Cleveland Cavaliers are right on their way to the finals again. And now you're talking about LeBron possibly being about three and six in the finals if they lose next year. I think that Michael Jordan conversation is dead right now. Even though it, at one point I thought Drake was the best rapper alive. And at one point I thought LeBron was the best ever touch of basketball. I can't argue that Drake's better than Jay. I don't believe it. I can't argue that LeBron's better than Michael Jordan. The numbers will say it, but his talent is on the court. Michael was six for six in rings. LeBron's three and five, possibly on his way to three and six next season. So I think the wrong conversation to be having today is LeBron to Jay, is LeBron and Drake, and these guys are good friends, is how these two are pretty much at the same point in their career. Pretty much better than everybody else. But they're so great, we don't compare them to anybody else. We compare them to the greats of all time. And um, right now, they're just not fair. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at bookingatismistelefero.com. Again, that's booking at ismistelefero.com. 